all you beautiful squiggly freaks and geeks, savages and iguanas out there on the worldwide interwebs. That voice in your head is Original Yank welcoming you to my super spongy seven days to die. Let's play. Happy day. Happy Friday. The weekend is happening, people. So I realized something strange, something very strange that we're going to have to take into account on Horde Nights. Uh, when I logged out and logged back into this uh, specific game, look what happened to the wires. So the straight wires, no problem at all. The crooked wires, though, they get all weird and they run into the ground. And uh, we're going to have to make sure that they... Let me uh, get something going right now because we're going to have to make some hatches. Um, and let me just give you a little tip. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, ten. Let's make ten. Or twelve. Um, if you were to try to put a hatch on top of here, it would just fall. Anything on top of here would just fall straight into this hole because technically there is nothing here to support it. Uh, it's a little weird game-wise. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you. I'll put down... We're going to put down some of these. All right. like so as a support now what that magically is going to do is i think i think the reason is like the block attaches up here not it doesn't sit on top of it attaches to this thing next to it and if there's nothing next to it when you're using these plates they'll just fall straight down into the hole so what we're going to do to combat that is this Set up some of these. Can we get some hatches cooking? I don't know. Hatch. We want a scrap iron hatch though. Because we need, for that we need scrap iron. All right, put that on the to-do list. I'm gonna write it down right now. Make scrap hatches. A little notepad here got going on. The Yankster, I hope this video finds you uh, that's actually uh hold on i hope you're good uh that you're feeling good you're feeling happy you're feeling the friday sensation in your body can we do this if we start at the bottom and then one yeah that works all right so if they're acting i don't know if they still like technically electrocute the zeds either right you know what i mean like if they're kind of the game thinks they're still there but they're not i don't know that so better safe than sorry uh every time a horde shows up gonna have to rewire these now because i don't want to risk losing see how they attach to the bottom of the electric fence post i don't know why i think it's because they cross a block you know like because these straight ones they're no problem these straight ones are no problem. The ones that, that cross a block get weird. You learn something new every day. We want maximum damage though. So we need to make sure that these are all... Because I could... I was thinking, you know, toying with the idea of just attaching them like over here and then down and then across and then down and then across. But then we'd miss some electrocusification in these blocks here. You know what I mean? So, uh, that and that would not be good. That would not be, it would be unacceptable, pretty much. All right, let's see. Upgrade, upgrade. As these things dry, they must be upgraded. Now, down the line, I am worried about cops uh, exploding because I do know that explosion damage goes through blocks. So that's why I'm putting hatches on top here so that they can be serviced. And the only really, the only critical point here in this whole thing is this one right here. If this one gets knocked out, we're going to have a big pain in the butt because then we got to dig out underneath again and then we got to rewire it to the other thing and it's going to be just basically a pain in the butt. So I may, if it becomes a problem, I'll, I'll solve it. You know, if it does, if it's not a problem, then we're not going to worry about it. Uh, we'll just have to kind of burn that bridge when we get to it. So this is what the trap looks like, all wired up. I wish we could get some Zeds to come visit us. Because the plan here, right, the idea is 
they show up and I'm kiting, I'm running, I'm, I'm kiting them down this way. And I'm going to have them run this way, follow me, follow the angster, and then boom, I'll be on the plate. And they're just in here getting shocked, and I can just shoot at them as they're getting shocked. It's going to be amazing, guys. It's going to be amazing. So there's that trap right there. We're going to actually, I'm not going to spend the time worrying about the hatches right now. Uh, I am going to turn the trap on, though, because we're going to work on a new trap today. Um, and if we get really lucky and get a roaming horde or something, then we'll be, uh, we'll be golden. We can test it. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Pick up the rebar. Pick up the rebar. Stick the engines in there. Uh, refuel. Turn on. Oh, we don't even need to. Look, we could even take this engine out. Actually, we take the blue one out. We're almost at capacity there, but hey, what? No worries. I'm also going to figure out something fun and smart about lights because we need to light up the arena really, really well. We might need some poles coming up every which way, or we may just do like the actual arena feel and just, just do like one big, super strong central pole right in the middle with tons of lights and then just some lights on the corners. We'll see. But this is basically how that's going to look. Uh, now, let's say... Uh, why did that? Why? 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 That's not supposed to happen. It's supposed to be connected to the pressure plate. What's happening here? Oh, no. Guys, something is wrong. Something is very, very wrong, people. It's supposed to be a pressure plate activated mechanism. All right. So we know the power goes from here to here. To the relay. To the no, we no. I know what's ha ay, 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 ay. I see the issue here, and somebody probably said so in the comments already. We circumvened the relay by not attaching this pole to this. You see what I mean? Ah, oh, what a bummer, man! What a bummer, man! All right, well we can solve that. It's not going to look so pretty, but we can solve it. Let's see. Uh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to have to remove that relay and somehow make this look pretty. Uh, I have no, so this can go down to here and then we need to go from here over to here, but it's going to look wonky and stupid. We'll see how it looks. I'm uh, getting ahead of myself. Youngster, you're getting ahead of yourself. Where is the, oh no, it's behind this thing. Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll get there. Nice and easy. Little by little. We'll get there. Is it really? Wait, wait, wait. Does anyone remember how I did this? So it's over there. It's over one. That's why I'm not getting to it. It's over there. It should be at least. Why is it not here? Where's the... Where's the silly thing, guys? Okay. Youngster doesn't have it together here. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, this went down into here, right? There's a relay underneath there. Am I correct? So I should. Or did I put the relay here? No, I didn't. I couldn't possibly have put the relay there. Hmm. All right. Digging around underneath. Ah, there it is. Found it. Okay, beautiful. So this relay has to go... This relay has to go. How am I going to manage to do that? Let's take this out so we can step on it. That relay has to go from there into the pressure plate. That's how it has to work. Okay, so we do need to come in from this side. Ah, there's the wire. Nice. Okay. Beautiful. All right, so we can reach the relay from here. Ah. Uh, Let's cancel what it's hooked up to now. And then go from here. Nope, nope, nope. We got to start at the other end or it's the flow is going to be wrong. I think. I don't know if they've updated the... Uh... Wait, is that just sitting there like, like that? Let's not update. Let's not upgrade anything yet. Let's not commit to anything yet. Uh, where's the... I'm going all mixed up directions here. Take all these out. Airdrop. Airdrop. Getting all confused. 
confused. I'm showing you this too, just because there may be some some uh, value in this learning wise. Yeah, um, I could cut it out, but I won't. This has to be learned. We gonna learn today. All right, so this goes from there up into the thing, right? Yeah. All right, so that's correct. Now we need to go from here to there. That's correct. This is the way it's supposed to be. Watch, watch, watch. Because now it's going to be right. There's no electricity here now, but there is. Well, I can't test it, can I? Unless I have a Z. All right. I'm pretty sure without... Now let's just plug this whole thing up there. I made a huge hole here. Uh, oh, ha, 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 ha. Plug it up. Plug the hole. Plug the hole. I'm not going to put concrete there. You know why. We're not going to build anything on top of it. So it's not like the structural integrity has to be maintained. You know, it's going to be one block. So... I'm not worried about putting rebar down in the hole. I'm not worried about it in the least. So that at least like the worst thing, you know, worst case scenario, right? We, um, let's go find a zombie that can follow us. Worst case scenario, we only have to take out one block or two blocks of reinforced concrete. You see? Uh, but there is a truth in, in the claim that cop explosions will definitely affect these, the fence posts. Um, but like I said, as long as this one doesn't get taken out, then we're good. Because I can, I can open them and service them and rewire them and, and make new fence posts. You know, I, I consider these disposable, basically. These are disposable. Uh, you know, the hordes start getting up there. Yep, it works. <laughs> nice and then it should be off yes beautiful okay we know we now know it works by testing it upon ourselves it's the best way to do it guys gotta test it on yourself you know what I'm saying alright get rid of the dirt now next up on the list is a mechanical physical trap that's gonna take a whole ton of gunpowder why because it's gonna be a mine pit it's going to be a mine pit. I wish I had a drum roll there. It's going to be a pit full of mines. Okay. So for some, for the sake of at least somewhat symmetry, we are going to go diagonally out. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, no, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. It doesn't, that doesn't even line up. All right, 23. Uh, 24 by 2 is 12, so there'd be 12 and 12. 23, right, would be 11. 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that's number 11, right? There should be 11 on this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Perfect. Uh, 12. What? I miscounted that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be completely 100%. It's got to be somewhere around here, I'm thinking. Alright, so we're going to do the same procedure as last year. Place and build around it. We're just basically, this is going to be a glorious, glorious hole in which zombies will step and mess themselves up really bad. Now we want it to be... Is that kind of... Kind of? It's not straight. I know it's not centered, but that doesn't matter at this point. We need to go further this way than this way uh, by a little bit, just eyeballing it. We need a little bit of leeway. Okay, niceness. Now the inner sir, inner sanctum, the whole 
inner thing is going to be one, two, three, five by two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's going to be the hole, the inner hole. All right. That's a floor surface of 35. What, what, no, floor surface of 35 mines, guys. And I don't even have to fill it up all the way either. Uh, don't even have to fill it up all the way either. So we're going to have to make some, we have the ramps, right? We're going to need uh, wet concrete inside corner. This thingy, I'm pretty sure this is a thingy. Let's craft one and make sure we're right. Because we don't want to craft up a million of them and be wrong. Let's see. So... It's going to go like that, correct? Yes, because next to it, there's going to be... Drum roll, please, as I run to the box. Ramp. One there. And one there. See? So it's going to be a little spot. A little spot they can get into. And never, ever emerge from. Could be nice. Could be nice. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be so good. Let's use squiggly freaks and geeks. I cannot wait to see the Zeds go kabloomy in this thing. All right, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. It's actually kind of hard to see which way everything is with the ground. Uh, one, two. We need three more of those. Inside corner. Two, three, four. With rebar behind it and the ground underneath it, it's actually kind of tough to see. Which way you're placing things down. This way. This, 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 and this, and this. We're going to the inside corners. And on the inside corner, wearing the red trunks. It's tough to see which way this is, too, if it's the right way. That's it. That's it. And... That's it. All right. Now we have to auger out one block down so that we can put concrete here, obviously, because it's going to go kabloomy. And uh, or should we just let the bombs and the Zeds do the work? Yeah, we're not even going to auger that or anything. Yeah, we're just going to let the Zeds and the mines layer it down for us. The first. Uh, first layer. No, you know why not? I'm going to tell you exactly why not. Because that can get out of control really quick. You're going to, I'm going to start getting Zeds burrowing underneath... Uh, burrowing underneath my thing. My traps. Burrowing underneath the entire arena like little worms. Like little inchworms. We don't want that. We don't want that. So we're definitely going to... Make a reinforced concrete floor upon which they can die. Ah, beautiful. So beautiful. All right. What better way to start your weekend by imagining piles and piles of Zeds exploding? Right? I can't wait till this thing is in use. Till we can actually use it. I have a couple other ideas for traps as well, but they're a little more advanced. Uh, one of them involves water and a shotgun turret, which is cool. So that's going to be a fun trap. There we go. Augered it down. All right, stick some rebar in the hoop. I can't wait till this thing is operational, till we can actually do our first horde night here. I feel like Dan Aykroyd in the Ghostbusters. We should sleep here tonight. You know, try the place out. Anybody? Remember Ghostbusters? Let's see. And this doesn't need to be big huge hole you know 
because I've been watching those. Uh... Oops, there goes the timer. Time flies when you're making beautiful stuff. Man, this hole is going to be filled with explosives. All right. So I'm going to be able to kite them around it. Maybe do a little vertical jump here. You know what I'm saying? Work the rim a little bit. That sounded really dirty, but you know what I mean? Work the rim and kite them into this hole and watch them go kaboomy. It's going to be super valuable down the line. We have cops. Now, let me tell you something about just before we cut um, for the weekend. Wow. For the weekend, I um, will be streaming, guys, streaming on Sunday on Twitch. Check out the stream. Check it out if you haven't. There's a uh, we I, I mess up so bad. Uh, it's seven days to die. It's either myself and Grandmaster Payne on our server taking on the Zeds in the streets or it is myself on the server uh, where I have always run uh, no airdrops and warrior difficulty. So you should probably you should totally check that out. Um, but what better way to go into the weekend imagining that you can electrocute and explode Zeds just in zero time flat. All the beauty, all the loves. All right, all you beautiful squiggly fricks and geeks, savages and iguanas. Have a beautiful weekend. Original Yank is signing off. I will see you all soon. Adios.